Hello. This week, you learn chapter ten, writing official letters, unit three. Peter wins a prize. By the way, you are going to take the test for June. You can take the test anytime you available, but not later than the twenty fifth of June, two thousand twenty. The link for the test will be shared in the Telegram. Please check it later. Thank you. Now we start our lesson today. Before we start the new lesson, please check the answer. Please go to page sixty-one. I want you to talk about the picture. You have five minutes. In the vocabulary section, you learn four words: admit, verb, consequence, noun. Consequently, adverb, impress, noun. The verb admit to agree that something is true, especially when you are unhappy, sorry, or surprised about it. The meaning is to agree. You'll prove that something is true. That was a muy capit. You'll stop that was a muy vipit. Especially, you will say, when you are unhappy, the pain in it, when it's a bad day, sorry, the comment from such day, or surprised about it, the comment from yep, I'll be weird. For example, I can't sing at all. He admitted. Can you man add? Chiring ban ban tay to tay sa. Got your prom that room got. Jeng, but I got jay teang. Unhappy. Consequence noun: a result or effect of something. Kichi la tapal or effect regarding a tapal of something. Nero ba away moy. She said exactly what she felt. Niang man di jay do. Tenang what she felt away the niang minaram, without fear of the consequences. Nak mian ka pay kelak tenang latapal, lekap pal pa pal ni kan ye de bah niang neng cong kraui. Consequently, adverb as a result. Nampi ni ta je latapal. For example, Dave increased the number of staff. And consequently, the service is better. They increased Pokemon on time, recovering the number of staff. Jumnuan na ibukalak. And consequently, hay jalatapal, the service is better. Sevakam kul prosa jingmun. The last word, impress, is a verb. If someone or something impresses you, you admire them. Many times, person by the name of Ricardo Bowie Moy impress you. You admire them. Nee, cause nyop snyder got us out. Put via. For example, what impressed me was their ability to deal with any problem. Away dial impressed me that the thing they got through is nyop chaparam was their ability. Cause she is smart to peep the babuke to deal with any problem. Cause smart to peep. Okay, that's all for vocabulary section. And now go to our reading part. You open your book to page sixty-one, and you spend five minutes to read this reading. Okay, start now. After you finish reading the story. I would like you to read the questions on page sixty-two. Question number one: Mary read Peter's letter. Why was it called a draft? The minute her Mary ban an some bad robot Peter. Why was it called a draft? Had we ban jie we had to ban ke hai ta jie a draft. A draft ban ita priang. Kaso se priang tapong. Question number two: Was Peter told to sow the draft to Ted? How do you know? 
ຫາຍບານຊິກິປະເອພີເທີສມິດຄວຊັນນັມເບີ້ໄຟວາຍວາສພີເທີສເລັກເຕດ so I want you to read the story again and find the answer for all of the questions from 1 to 5. The answer will be given to you next week. Exercise B, I will give you as a homework. In this exercise, you will write a letter based on the notes by Peter. Look at the notes. And then you use this note to write the letter Look at the letters under the notes. You see the return address and the sender address. And also you can see the greeting, dear director. And you can see the introduction of the letter. So the thing that you have to do in this homework, you continue from the letter introduction by using the notes by Peter to write a complete letter. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you. Goodbye. See you next week.